What's up everyone? We're back this week with another Friday video. We're back in front of the Paladarium here, but this time, as you can see, the lights are off and it's not the main focus. We're talking today about this little tank to my left. So in last week's video, I made mention that there was a certain group of fish missing from the South American Paludarium. Well, those fish were my Hyphosobrycan alaxius, uh, or otherwise known as reed tetras. My goal is to breed them out in this tank and then hopefully add in the fry that come about into the paludarium tank as well uh, to form one big school in there. Uh, the fish are still getting a little bit used to being in this tank, so they are hiding right now. I received my original group of wild-caught adults about three to four years ago. So I figured before they hit their lifespan limit, this would be a good fish to really jumpstart a new breeding project on. I have spotted some breeding behavior from them while they were in the paludarium, but with all the other fish in there, the chances of any fry survival are pretty slim. So for breeding tank setup, I've gone with this 2.5 gallon tank uh, where I actually bred my first Tetras almost 10 years ago now. So I have a nano sponge filter that was cycled in my 40 breeder, uh, providing aeration and filtration in the tank. Two DIY yarn spawning mops are there for them to scatter their eggs on. And I've also put in some crushed up leaf litter in the tank to provide some tannins, soften the water a bit, and provide a little bit of added refuge. For water changes, I'll be using a mix of tap water and some reserved tannin water that I am keeping aerated in a bucket uh, with some leaves and alder cones mixed in. This method worked before when I bred out my glow light tetras, so I figured I would give it another shot with these tetras as well. The tannins help darken the water, uh, which in turn uh, gives the light-sensitive eggs of tetras a better chance of surviving through the early days. Okay, and actually I have to put you guys down for a quick second because uh, I could have sworn I just saw something weird in here. And not weird. Oh, okay. Yeah, so strange development. Apparently, there are a few Corridoras fry in here. Uh, let me see if I can either get it on video or snap a picture. Alright, so I'm guessing that a few Panda Cori eggs, uh, that's what they kind of look like, I'm guessing a few eggs must have snuck in on the sponge filter. But uh, that's definitely an unexpected surprise. Alright, so this video did not turn out how I was expecting. <laughs> uh, so that's the what's going to be my tetra breeding tank. Uh, but what is also apparently now uh, Corridor's fry raising tank. Uh, I did see at least two in there. Yeah, I'm, I'm just actually kind of surprised right now. Uh, but I guess the next time we check in on that tank, we'll see if the Tetras have had any uh, breeding success. And I guess we will also be checking in to see exactly how many Corridoras fries are in there. Uh, yeah, when, those Panda Corys are pretty prolific. Anyways, uh, thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next Friday video.